our system of credit is, is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities are in the hands of a few men. We have come to be one of the worst ruled, one of the most completely controlled and dominated governments in the civilized world, no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men by Woodrow Wilson. President Roosevelt says, years later, reflecting on the major banks' control in Washington, President Franklin Roosevelt paid this indirect praise to his distant predecessor, President Andrew Jackson, uh, Jackson, who had killed the second bank of the United States, an earlier type of the Federal Reserve System. After Jackson's administration, the banker's influence was gradually restored and increased, culminating in the passage of the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. Roosevelt knew this history. The truth, the real truth of the matter is, as you and I know, that a financial element in the larger centers has owned the government ever since the days of Andrew Jackson. And I am not wholly accepting the administration of W.W. W. Woodrow Wilson? Is that what W.W.? W.? Yeah. The country is going through a repetition of Jackson, Jackson's fight with the Bank of the United States, only on a far bigger and broader basis by Roosevelt. You got more? No, that's it. Oh, okay. That was it. You also want to read us something <clears throat> yeah. from in here? I, you know, you know, of course, my thing is into, into these. Let's show the, the book first. Uh, the title of this is Answers to Questions Most Frequently Asked About Our Space Visitors and Other Planets. It was written by Georgia Damsky, who everything in the 50s that he said is been and is still being uh, uh, what's the word? Shown to be true. Everything that he said is shown to be true so far. And there was questions asked of him by average, the average person. And I'll read to you as soon as you see that. They're a little short. It was asked about the monetary system on other planets. Do they have a monetary system? And I'll read what, it's, what, it, what it said. The question was, do the people on other planets use money? as a means of exchange? The answer was no, for they do not have a profit system. Instead, they use a system, a system similar to our social security or pension plan, but they do not have to retire to receive it. Robots and machines take care of 90% of their needs, leaving the people free to learn and express their God-given talents. Another question asked, what form of government do other planets have? Answer. Their government is based on equality for all alike. They have a central government with a representative in each community to care for its needs. Should any misunderstanding arise, he acts as a moderator in clearing the condition. That was dealing with just a short little thing about the monetary system and the form of government they, they say they have. That's really, you know, interesting mm. to know, you know, a higher civilization can mm. overcome things in sure, society sure. that we have. And, and we can. We can. We just have to wake up. It's just, uh, it's a lot. I mean, it's something I wanted to mention. In 1913, when the Federal Reserve and the IRS were formed, the ADL was also formed. The Anti-Defamation League mm -hmm. against uh, anti-Semitism in the United States. And not long after the Federal Reserve Act, the bank, was put into place, America got into World War I by the supposed sinking of the Lusitania off the coast on, the, I think it was the Atlantic. The, the boat Supposedly, that was attacked. Yeah. Some say that the Germans... Uh, attacked it. 
Some say that it was a false pretense to get America into the war. Like it done many other things. Yeah. Hmm. You see how the Federal Reserve acts, especially being a new bank, privately owned bank, to get money from America, you have to get America to borrow. Being a, a new bank at the time and America not really having much debt to their new uh, private bank, they had to borrow to, to, to be into World War One. They had to borrow and that's how America started its debt. And all the other conflicts, if you look into history, I mean, how America got in, involved, I mean, World War Two, and they had a... Um, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, Desert Storm, um, the Afghan War, the war in Iraq. Mm. A lot of the wars really, I mean, they would say there was false pretense to mm -hmm. these wars. That, you know, except by, by Pearl Harbor we were attacked. We weren't really a, attacked. And uh, we'll do another video on 9-11 because some people will say <laughs> we were attacked on 9-11. I was about to mention that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You know, I <clears throat> believe that's also a false pretense, but we'll mm. save that for another episode and mm. we'll get into detail about that. But uh, to get America to borrow, when you have a bad political system, bad leadership in this country, and you have a privately owned bank with private interest, to make America borrow money, you have to convince them to borrow money. If you lobby in this country, you get the politicians to do anything that you want them to do. If you're private in private interest, or the private banks, corporations, the oil business, to get them to do things your way, you put money in their pocket. Either for their campaign or just money in their pocket under the table. But now in return, they have to do the bidding off the person of the private interest. They can't bite now. They can't bite the hand that feeds them, mm. because that's basically what it is. That's the way our monetary has been set up. That's why we have the things going on, and the problems we're all going through because of it. Um, mm. We're going to get into our next yeah. episode where Bernard will read something called the Coming mm -hmm. Revolution. Any other? Any last words that you want to talk about? What our no, problems? just that seemed that uh, war is a big money maker for a few. Yeah which takes the lives of so many innocent people. General Electric uh, in the Iraq mm. War, they made a lot of money mm. through their technology. Mm -hmm. and their own, uh, all the private news networks uh, like ABC, I think they're owned by Disney. CBS, I think it's owned by, partially owned by Viacom. NBC, uh, General Electric. Fox mm. is probably owned by Murdoch. Mm. The CNN, uh, those networks mm. owned by mm. Turner. It's all private, privately owned. No yep. free press anymore. I mean, we have small independent uh, news sources, but... And they're trying to control that now. Yeah. Especially over the internet. They want to get a control of that. Well, guys, thank you for watching yeah. episode 11 about the problems with our monetary system. Please leave us some comments and uh, subscribe to our channel. Let others know. Email it to them. We really appreciate everything. And... That's going to wrap up episode 11. Any last words? No. Peace. <laughs> Thank you for watching.